Unlike Chris and Zand, I'm not particularly stressed, and I know I'm not overweight. People say I'm aging pretty well, but appearances can be deceptive. To fully understand the aging process, scientists say you need to peer under the bonnet. So I'm going to have a full body MRI scan to look inside me. And I have to say, I am just a teeny bit anxious about it. This is going to be noisy, isn't it? It is uh, a bit noisy, but I gave you a headphone. You got music for me? We got music for you, yeah. Good. Right. Obviously, when I was in my, my teens, my 20s, my 30s, even my 40s, I would have hoped that my brain and my body was in a reasonable condition. Let's make this one. But it's now 71 years old. <laughs> it's, it's like a sort of... Um, I'm not a Ferrari anymore. I'm a, I'm a sort of, um, hopefully, reasonably well-preserved vintage model. Fantastic. Let's start. By taking thousands of slice-like images, this MRI will reveal exactly how my organs have aged. My heart, my liver, my spine, and my brain. Okay. That's the easy bit over. The hard part will be receiving the results. Professor of Medicine Jimmy Bell will interpret the scans for me. The first time I've been able to peer inside my own body. Well, this is a 3D rendering of your body, and we want to see what effect aging might have had. Okay. So if we zoom in, so we're just going to click uh, this here, and as we zoom in, then we can see your spine here. Well, most of me appears to be aging satisfyingly slowly. You got a very young heart. External heart is very healthy. You have got a body composition of a, of a young person. Your muscle mass is actually substantial in, in the sense that it's actually very healthy. It's actually quite a young uh, legs, if I, can, I might say so. Well, so far, so good. But then we find something rather more sinister. We actually look around the, the liver, all the white bits here, and that's all what we call visceral fat you have a very significant amount of visceral fat. So now we're going to zoom into the heart. If you look at that yellow bit around it, again, surprisingly, you have a large amount of fat accumulated around your heart. That physical constraint of your heart pumping against that fat might be a problem long term. I'm in shock. This is all a bit difficult to take in. We would expect someone healthy at, of any age to have less than two litres of this of that. You have between six and seven litres. That is not good news. I exercise, I eat well, so where the heck has all this internal fat come from? Normally it's to do with lifestyle, so we'll expect someone who has a poor diet, uh, high in sugar or um, fat, or someone who doesn't do uh, lots of physical activity. That's not but me. But clearly, <laughs> you're a puzzle. That's not you at all. This field of science is very new, so there are still unanswered questions. And women do seem to be more vulnerable than men to internal fat. But whatever the cause, the implications for me are serious. Internal fat is quite dangerous. It can lead to cardiovascular disease, to type 2 diabetes. And if we don't look after that, okay, it will be a major problem. This is devastating. I had no idea that as we age, some of us put down lots of internal body fat. So what's the solution? Well, thankfully, scientists have recently found something we can do to reduce this hidden threat. 
there was a big shock attached to the results, and that is that I am carrying an awful lot of internal fat, particularly around my heart, and that really is very worrying. But uh, I'm told that there's um, a way, of course, of uh, helping to get rid of all of that fat, and quite simply it is, by eating a lot more high-resistance starch. Um, and that occurs in pulses like lentils and chickpeas. The latest science has revealed that when high-resistance starch is eaten, it passes through to the large intestine. There, it releases an acid, which enters the body to reduce internal fat. The trouble is, for this to happen, you need to eat a ridiculous amount of lentils, kilos a week. Fortunately, there's an artificial alternative. There's a concentrated form of high-resistance starch, and it's this stuff, this white powder, which is called inulin. And all you have to do is sprinkle that over your food. Now, it's uh, obviously going to take quite a while, probably around about six months, to see whether or not following this kind of diet is going to make any difference to me. But um, clearly, I'm going to give it a go. Scientists are developing a new generation of drugs, which they expect to be even more effective at reducing internal fat. But for now, the inulin food supplement is my best hope.